In the kingdom of Nepal, the ancient Kathmandu Valley is a melting pot of people and cultures. Nepal possesses the world's deepest gorges and the highest point on Earth, Mount Everest. From tropical forests at lower elevations to Arctic conditions on the roof of the world, the geography is as diverse as its people. The towering peaks are worshipped by locals as homes of the gods and challenge human perspective. Drops of water that begin at the highest points on Earth travel to slopes of medicinal herbs and into valleys of grain. Family and religion are of paramount importance to a prayerful people that depend on agriculture or livestock for their daily existence. Forty ethnic groups that speak 70 different languages have melded into one society that is rich in tradition and complex in makeup. This spiritual society is heavily influenced by the presence of numerous temples, shrines, and monasteries. The needs of people are simple but numerous. Refugees from neighboring countries are given safe haven within the borders of Nepal, even though it is not a wealthy country. The bright-eyed children are at peace in their innocence and enjoy the simple pleasures of life. This developing nation has only recently opened its borders to the Western world. Many elements of Western society are just now starting to enter Nepal. When the average income of a local farmer is less than $200 per year, luxuries are rare, and prayer is an essential part of keeping families together. Basic human needs are a daily concern and the needs of disabled children are beyond the resources of most. In July of 2000, a team of concerned professionals entered the Kathmandu Valley to explore the needs of the physically disabled. A child in Nepal with a neurological disorder or debilitating disease must be carried anywhere they go, but for most, their sentence is life in bed or on the floor of a room until they die. Upon the team's return to the United States, the newly founded Wheelchair Foundation was notified of the needs of 206 children with severe disabilities in Kathmandu. Wheelchair Foundation accepted this challenge and through the generosity of Ronald McDonald House Charities dedicated their efforts to gathering the specialized wheelchairs that were needed. Yeah. Well, our original contact uh, was Professor Raj Bhandari, who is the director of a center for cerebral palsy. He requested that we provide his children and adults with wheelchairs, and it's taken a long time to pull this off. During the three-day distribution of wheelchairs, a coalition of mobility providers met and interacted with families that represented a cross-section of the Nepalese people. Their thankful gestures and smiling faces revealed hope for the future of their families and happiness that they never thought possible. Good morning. And what is his name? It's very difficult at home. He lays in his bed and sleeps. He can't stand or even sit. We must do everything for him. So, we're going to look for a chair. Yes. Do you want to sit and hold him? I do this to give something back. I've thought for a long time that we are so blessed in our country and have so much. And people in places like Nepal and other parts of the world have so little. And it's just a way that I can take skills that I have from my everyday job and use them with various people groups that have so much less than we. And that's really why I do this. Look at that smile! Wow. This wheelchair will make it so much easier. Before it took two people to move him. Now he will be able to go outside. Radhika. Radhika was a cute little girl, five-year-old. She displayed some mild hypertonic muscle tone, which means that she really has to struggle in sitting up. It's really important to get her in a wheelchair at a young age, so 
she will have a supported surface to sit in. We will have a great impact in her life, mainly from the family standpoint. They won't, the family won't have to carry her around, as it seems like they have been doing. Um, they'll be able to use that wheelchair for all their mobility needs, and hopefully, maybe someday, she'll be able to independently propel that wheelchair and get around the house by herself. Now I think it's very useful for us and my family also. It's very pleased to have this. You all are very helpful for us. My son was born like this and I carry him everywhere. He is 14 years old now and quite heavy. He stays in his room mostly and can't go to school. Now we can do this two ways. We can use one strap for the back and another one for the front. Very rewarding, yeah. Why? It gets the kid mobile instead of the family having to carry him around all, all day every day. Now he's got some wheels. As he gets bigger, he will become even harder to carry, but now, because of this wheelchair, I won't have to. The lives of these children have been changed in a positive and long-lasting way and their families have been given the ability to take their child to school, worship, or just outside to see the world around them. The gift of a wheelchair brings together the lives of entire families, which is of significant importance in the culture of the Nepalese. This story of children and their families with a new lease on life in the Kingdom of Nepal is a tribute to the dedicated efforts of Ronald McDonald House Charities, people who make a difference in so many lives every day. Thank you to Ronald McDonald House Charities for your overwhelming commitment to the children of the world and for supporting the Wheelchair Foundation in our global mission to change the lives of people and their families, one wheelchair at a time.